So today we are doing a video on how to reuse the water from our laundry machines on our yard. We'll be storing the water from the laundry discharge line into a container and distribute it through a garden hose to a desired area. The items we'll need are an 18 gallon container, a garden hose, a heavy duty plastic crate, one and a quarter PVC elbow, and a one and a quarter PVC pipe. The length of the pipe will be determined by the location of your laundry discharge line in relation to the location of the container. Other tools and fittings that we'll need are a drill, seal tape, three quarter PVC street elbow, two garden hose gaskets, a three quarter PVC threaded adapter, a three eight drill bit, and one inch spade bit. First, we need to prepare the adapter by drilling holes on both sides of it, as close as we can to the edge. Hold the adapter with one hand and the drill with the other. Being careful since the force from the drill might twist the adapter and your hand too. Another option will be to cut the adapter at the edge using a hacksaw. Locate the plastic crate on the container bottom face. This is in order to determine an ideal location from where the water will flow from the container. Once you have set the location, drill a hole on the container using the spade bit. Insert one of the gaskets on the adapter threaded end. Place the gasket parallel to the adapter's face and add sealing tape to the adapter and also to the elbow thread segments. One loop and a half will do. Insert the adapter through the hole on the container. We'll need to insert another gasket on the thread segment that sticks out of the container. Attach the street elbow to the adapter's threaded end. Place the prepared container on top of the crate and pass the elbow through one of the openings from the plastic crate. Cut a bigger opening on the crate in case the cutout is not big enough. Pass the garden hose through one of the crate side cutouts and thread it to the street elbow. The container is now ready to be set next to the laundry machine discharge line. On my case, my laundry machine is inside a detached garage next to a window. You'll need to have a similar setting in order to use this system. The PVC pipe needs to be attached to the laundry discharge line. Here is where you'll need to determine the length of the PVC pipe. The one and a quarter PVC elbow needs to be attached to the pipe end inside the container. This is in order to create a swirl effect on the water flow. If no elbow is added, the pressure from the water will back up to the laundry discharge line and PVC pipe connection point. It's now time for the water to come up from the container to the end of the garden hose. We can relocate the water to a desired location on our lawn or garden as long as we have a long enough garden hose. This will do for today. Hopefully you could help conserve water using this or a similar setup. Check the video description box for all the links to the items used on this video. I'll also list other of my water saving irrigation systems videos as well. And don't forget to share, like, subscribe for more of this type of content. For more tutorials, how-to and product videos, visit handynoah.com.